Uh, now let me plot uh, all of the all the three relationships uh, on a graph or uh, all of these relationships on a graph where I will be talking about average fixed cost average variable cost average total cost and also the marginal cost so what I will essentially do I will draw a graph like uh, in which I will take the uh, output on the x-axis and I'm going to take the cost on the uh, y-axis now if I see uh, uh, what is happening to the average fixed cost average fixed cost is falling throughout from 25 it is going to be it's becoming 2.5 so the average fixed cost curve is going to fall throughout so it uh, as a continue to increase the production the average fixed cost per unit uh, falls now what happens to this average variable cost average variable cost first falls then it rises so now this average variable cost curve uh, first falls and then rises so average variable cost first falls and then rises now let me talk about this marginal cost curve so marginal cost curve also falls then rises but when the average variable cost falls marginal cost curve is less than the average cost curve so in this case uh, and also when average cost curve is minimum marginal cost is going to be uh, is going to be equal to the uh, average variable cost so in this case it is going to be something like this let me just bend it up so this is going to be my marginal cost curve and what happens to this average cost curve so average cost uh, first falls if you can see it continues to fall and then it rises over here if you can see it rises so the average total cost curve food first falls and then rises now this is the behavior uh, that we can see uh, 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 from these cost curves now let me uh, uh, talk about and uh, talk a bit more about these cost curves now uh, if we can see uh, initially uh, the average initially the average total cost curve is falling this part over here so it is falling because uh, the reason for this fall is that because both the average fixed cost as well as the average variable cost is falling so I can say that the average total cost in itself is equal to the average variable cost plus average fixed cost so since average variable cost as well as the average fixed cost is initially falling so this is the reason that average total cost also falls it may be because of the operation of the increasing returns because of increasing returns now uh, in the second uh, the second phase the uh, average total cost curve is rising now the rise uh, the, the average total cost rises because the fall over here in the average fixed cost curve is less than as compared to the rise in the average variable cost since average variable cost rises more than the fall in the average fixed cost that is the reason why the average total cost rises so it may be because of the decreasing returns Now this case over here is tip is a typical case of the increasing returns and while as this case over here is a typical case of decreasing returns. Now let me talk about it again that uh, the average total cost falls because initially falls because both average fixed cost as well as the average variable cost is falling. Now after that the uh, average total cost rises because average fixed cost continues to fall while as average variable cost rises now uh, the rise in the average variable cost is more than the fall in the average fixed cost that pushes this average total cost curve upwards so uh, that's why this uh, average total cost curve becomes u-shaped